Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna look at Obsidian Flames top 10 must have cards. But unfortunately, I don't have a top 10 list for you just because I think this is a pretty bad set and it's not a lot of cards I want, unfortunately. And we'll still look at the cards I do want and some of the worst illustration rares released so far in the Scarlet and Violet era. Usually, I don't want to include cards that are so cheap that anyone could just buy without price action really mattering, but it was really hard to come up with a list when I think there's like two or three cards only that's above $10 in this list and it's Pidgeot and Charizard so I will have to include cards that I actually want and you know I've already picked them up if you haven't already I think these are great pickups first one is going to be this Gloom Illustration Rare great looking card vibrant colors should have been in 151 I think it would have been a better chase card in there than in here but luckily it's just two dollars next up we have Scissor one of my personal favorite Pokemons uh, of all time I'm glad it's so cheap, uh, less than a pack, so I think this card is on the way if I don't already have it in my mailbox. So stay tuned for that video where I have a lot of cards to show. I did order a lot of cards for my national decks and a lot of these Scarlet and Violet era cards that are so cheap. Another card ready for pickup is this beautiful Cleffa card, less than, less than a pack at $4.21. Next up is the most expensive illustration rate in the set, this Nine Tails card was released at $9, now sitting at $6, probably on the way down to even less. So, you know, not worry if you want to pick it up now. It's not going to drop much more in actual dollar savings. Very beautiful card. Easy pull, I guess. I was worried it was going to be an expensive card because of how great the artwork is. Now, this was a really small set with just four illustration rare, but they had some major duds in here. Starting off with Ice Cube EX. I think this card holds a shameful record for being the cheapest, least liked illustration rare out there at $1.92. Next, we have Revaroon. Oh, one of my most despised Pokemon designs out there of all time. Just barely doing any better than Ice Q at $2.04. Let's move on. Next up, the second most expensive illustration rare in the set is the Pidgeot EX, released at a price of $17. Drop 59% to the low of $7. That's a saving of $10. I got very lucky I was able to pull this card in a three pack blister I bought for Obsidian Flames because I didn't buy any other product in the set outside of that. Uh, very good card for competitive. I think once it's out of rotation, it'll probably be less than $10. And the top chase card in the set is the Charizard SIR, release date price of $92. Down 45%, savings at $42, hit a low of $50 just now. Price target is $46, it'll probably be there soon and might even go past it. Definitely being outshined by its Padania Fates version, which I also got lucky in pull. And I think it's a much better looking card than the Obsidian Flames version. So yeah, Pokemon just released a major dud with this one right before they released 151. Maybe that was the plan. It's a small set anyways, and they expected Charizard to carry it. Luckily, it's very good competitive, so it's holding value for that purpose. But I mean, for collectors, it's great. You got some great looking illustration wear for less than $5. So I'm not complaining there. I'm just going to ignore this set. So let me know what you guys think of this set. If you agree or disagree with me, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.